Greetings, pilots, and welcome to the Grind to 30 Guide. We wanted to create a guide for all the Phantom Galaxies players before the release of Episode 4 and the Astrophyte Rush event, so that you can be completely prepared. For more information about the token and the Astrophyte Rush event, you can check out the links in the video's description. Throughout Phantom Galaxies, sources of experience can be found in every corner of the universe. Here is our suggestion for the most efficient path to level 30. The guide will be broken up into three parts. The level grind, choosing your mech, and skill points. Starting with the biggest one, the grind. The level grind is in two parts, from levels 1 to 15 and levels 15 to 30. Completing episode 1 to 3 of the alpha is required for every pilot anticipating the Astrophyte Rush event. The main quest can be completed at a quick pace and there is ample time before the event begins. After finishing the first three episodes, the average pilot has likely reached level 11, depending on the side quests they've completed. It's now time for the grind. After finishing the main storyline, you'll want to head to the planet Huli, which is located in the Mesa system. Here, you'll find mobs at level 15 and sometimes spawn five at a time. This is your express ticket to level 15. An important note to remember is that if your wingman delivers the killing blow to an enemy, you don't receive the experience. Something to keep in mind as you're battling the pirate hordes. Consider me discharged. For the final grind of level 30, you can find bounty quests at the pilot's favorite watering hole, the Shining Star Bar, which is located in Hades in the stick system. These bounty quests can be picked up repeatedly and completed for a decent amount of experience points. However, there are some things to keep in mind. The quest giver can spawn in three different locations throughout the bar. Sitting at the table to the right as you walk in, standing by the window a little further back, and at the back of the room standing by the lavatories. Another handy tip to streamline this process is that the quest givers in the Shining Star Bar consist of two types, one giving a bounty and one giving out delivery quests. The delivery quests offer no experience at all. As such, we suggest picking up a delivery quest from the Shining Star Bar quest giver, but leaving it uncompleted. This way, you won't receive new deliveries while the quest sits uncompleted in your log. So only the new bounty quest will appear in the Shining Star Bar so you can complete your bounty and rack up on a wealth of experience. Now that you're equipped with the information to get to level 30 as fast as possible, it's time to choose which mech you're taking on the journey. With three very enticing options between the Assault class, the Buster class, and the Breacher class, it can be a super tough decision. However, we simply encourage players to select a mech that appeals most to their playstyle. If you really can't decide, here's a tip. Many pilots have found that the special move of the Buster class during the level 15 to 30 grind is an especially effective rapid fire method for leveling up. If you're interested in which weapons you should equip, I'd recommend heading to the medium article in the description below. There's a table in the article that shows you which weapon for each mech produces the best damage per second, or DPS. And lastly, skill points. Where you put your skill points can be crucial to your progress. We'll show a list of skills on screen that we recommend players prioritize. To give yourself an edge in battle, increase efficiency while leveling, and to get you optimized for the upcoming Astrophyte event. And that's a wrap. At the crux of it all, they're just recommendations. Every pilot should pick the Starfighter and Weapons loadout that most suit their preferred playstyle and tailor their skills accordingly. If you just want to blast through pirates on your way to being the most renowned pilot in Phantom Galaxies, go for it. Huge shout out to Jetlag and Greyhat from our Discord server for their ever so helpful input on this guide. And if you have any follow-up questions, or just want the latest news on Phantom Galaxies, be sure to head to our Discord server, link in the description. We hold a bunch of events including town halls, AMAs, casual chats, and much more. At ease, pilots.